My name is Susan Salmon, and I'm the Dean at the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey, the School of Nursing. Uh, and I am the co-lead for the Academic Progression subteam of our Regional Action Coalition in New Jersey. Well, New Jersey has a coalition team for each of the four pillars uh, in the report. Uh, so that at this point in time, we have a leadership pillar, we have a data pillar, uh, we have the scope of practice pillar, and we have an academic progression pillar. As the chair of the academic progression pillar, I'm focusing on two priorities, and that is academic progression with more baccalaureate prepared nurses by, 80, uh, by 2020 uh, and residency programs for both entry level and advanced practice nurses. Yes, currently in New Jersey, most of your healthcare organizations are preferentially hiring baccalaureate prepared nurses. Uh, and certainly this is in line with what the recommendations of the report are, 80% baccalaureate prepared nurses by 2020. Unfortunately, in New Jersey, almost 60% of nurses beginning in nursing enter via the associate degree program. So as a result today, we have many unemployed and underemployed associate degree nurses. We must begin to address this uh, in New Jersey, both from an entry level perspective, how many people do we have coming into the different levels of nursing, as well as needing to address transition or bridge programs to quickly move the associate degree prepared nurse into a baccalaureate program. Well, the benefit right now uh, from an immediate stance is they'll get a job. Uh, and again, I want to stress that because the associate degree nurses are not being hired. Uh, when you speak with the chief nurse officers in our state, uh, they are clear in their belief that a baccalaureate prepared nursing, nurse brings value added to the organization. Specifically, uh, baccalaureate nurses become more involved in the nursing culture of the organization. They use their own free time to come into meetings, to participate on advancing initiatives in the hospital. The baccalaureate prepared nurse is better prepared to deal with the complexity of the patients, to deal with some of the data needs, to track population concerns with different uh, safety issues as well as populations in the hospital. Uh, and most importantly, we are hearing that the baccalaureate prepared nurse once attuned and accustomed to their new role, uh, is more confident in advocating for patients, more focused on safety, more focused on moving the patient through the system, assuring that they have the different level of care they need, not only in the acute care setting, but in transitions and in home care. Bottom line to the patient, it means that the baccalaureate prepared nurse is better able to manage complexity and overall will receive better quality care. We have both nursing as well as non-nursing organizations. Uh, one of our partners is the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce. Uh, currently, we have almost 200 individuals that are on different committees that are leading this initiative. Uh, so we truly welcome you to learn about our different pillar groups, what they are trying to accomplish, and join us. Uh, it is together that we're going to make these changes happen.